side. Uh, Jeff? Coach, I guess first of all, your thoughts on Xavier's game, 24 points, perfect from the field, the assists, and just everything. What, what did you think led to him playing this well for you guys? Well, we need it. I mean, we're shorthanded. You know, I, my other two point guards are sitting on the sideline watching with me. And for him to step up like he did and, and have the game after picking up two early fouls, man, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better performance, man. I'm very pleased. Zach, you've talked about challenging race basically since you got here and, and how much he's improved. How much have you seen him improve in particular at maybe recognizing in the course of a game? Trace has foul trouble, or the defense is taken away, or whatever. I've got to go be the man in the post there. I've got to be the one that demands the ball, gets buckets, gets rebounds, just is kind of, you know, 1A down there in the post. Well, he's been that guy kind of all season for us. Um, and, you know, I know he was a little down after the all, we all were after the Ohio State game. And for him to bounce back like he did and have the kind of game he had tonight, man, we, we're going to need that from everybody as we – finish the season off. I mean, you know, this was a big big win for our team tonight, I thought. I mean, that, I mean you lose five straight, man, and you, you're searching a little bit, you know, trying to figure out when you're going to stop the bleeding. And I thought tonight where well, we stepped up and did what we had to do. Tom, Mike, you guys have struggled uh, in the second half of a lot of games this year, but tonight 15 for 20 from the field, very efficient offensively, I mean, best half of the year uh, from an efficiency standpoint. How good does that feel just to, to come out and close that thing out the way that it is? Well, it, it felt good. You know, I mean, I don't know how it's been. I mean, we've, we've had some games where we've come out in the second half and been great. Um, but as of late, man, I mean, when you lose five games in a row, man, you, you're searching as a team. And, and uh, these guys are not quitting. I'm telling you that now. I mean, they just, they're competing every night. That's all we can ask for, man. We try to put them in the best position possible, and I thought tonight they answered the bill big time. So, we start to keep going on that theme. I guess, what did you see just, have you seen sort of an attitude change in the last couple of days? It seems like they've reached the point of being angry, tired of losing, and sort of you took it out of Maryland. Well, I mean, our attitude has been great. I mean, even in the five-game skid, man. I mean, guys, you don't come out and you know, take Ohio State on the road to overtime if you're not mentally and physically ready to compete. I mean, we, we've been competing. I mean, we lost a cl close game here at home against Wisconsin. I mean, our guys are competing. And that's from a coaching standpoint and our staff. That's all you can ask for, man. I mean, a play or two here and there, in those two games, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. But at the end of the day, they've not quit. And that's nice to see. Coach, I wanted to ask you about your two-foul strategy with Trace and Xavier. Is that kind of set in stone for you or more of a feel? Well, you know, listen, it's it's kind of a feel. Um, I mean, I, I'm still learning these guys. I mean, I don't know if it – I think sometimes coaches have to have trust to make sure – you know, Trace has never really fouled out of a guy that I can't recall in past years. He, he, Trace ain't even been in foul trouble. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a long game early. So for him to pick up three or X, I can't go anywhere with X. You know, I don't have another point guard out there. So you got to sit him down. So I think it was the right move for both of them. Give, give other guys an opportunity to step up and play. Kevin. Yeah, I was just going to follow up on that. Talk about maybe somebody got, you know, being able to tread water. And actually, you had a really good defensive stretch there with the two starters out. We were able to kind of build the lead a little bit. I know you didn't close that for, but what it means for guys like Geronimo and Durr and Leo to kind of step in and, and give you guys something uh, uh, during, during that stretch? Well, again, I mean, I can't play Trace and, and Race, you know, even X. I mean, I can't play them 40 minutes. So those guys, again, I've always said everybody's a part of this team that wears a uniform, plays a role. And if you play two minutes, you better make it the most – important minutes to help us win games, you know, and I thought in that stretch when we had the second unit in there, we couldn't rebound the ball. And, and they were able to take an eight-point lead, and I believe they tied it. You know, I mean, we go in three, at, up three and a half, and they're right there. So 
Um, but for the most part, again, it was a total team effort, man, and I'm pleased as hell. John. Coach, do you feel like Xavier is someone that puts like a lot of pressure on himself? Um, and I guess, how have you just tried to help him balance that line between playing with intensity um, but not forcing things? Well, I think all these young players put pressure on themselves. If they can just hell stay out of the paper and, and, and leave social media alone, they might be a, a lot better. You know, I mean, I, you know, again, you know, X X means well. He wants to be great. He plays. He competes, man. He's a competitor. That's what he he does. And, He's had his ups and downs, man, but for the most part, I, man, listen, this is the first time him, he and I've had an opportunity as coach player to get together, man. I, I'm, I'm pleased at how he's played this year, man. He's come a long way from the beginning when we started to where he is today. And that means, and when I see things like that, he's, that means he's put in time and he's working. Last question, Rick. Yeah, Mike, when, when, when Xavier was in here, he said he knows that he shouldn't read social media, but he does sometimes. How much have you, uh, been able to get through to any of your guys. I'm, I'm not looking at it. Not a lot. <laughs> no, really, not a lot. I, I don't know how the social media thing works because guys, I don't. You know, I think the university kind of handles my thing, so I and I couldn't tell you what they, what people are saying or, or what's been said on our part. Uh, I don't have time for that. My, you know, my time is watching film and trying to get you know prepared to play. Uh, basketball and, and these guys should do the same. I mean, I you know, I, I tell them all, just leave social media alone, man. Concentrate on your studies and, and playing basketball. That's what you came to school for. But it's, it's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, coach. Thank you.